Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a review and tutorial for you guys. Um, today I am going to review a new drugstore product that's been pretty popular as of late and it is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadows. These are supposed to last 24 hours um, and they're a potted cream shadow and they kind of remind me a lot of MAC Paint Pots. That's what a lot of people have been comparing them to. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. I really do like the packaging. It's actually really sturdy and heavy um, glass packaging, which is nice from the drugstore instead of like plastic packaging, uh, except for the cover is plastic, but I only got two shades. Um, I got two neutral shades, of course. I don't really have any use for the more colorful shades, um, and these are actually really great price. I think these range from six to eight dollars each, but you can usually find like a buy one get one half off um, for Maybelline at drugstores. If you wait for one of those sales, they come around every couple of weeks. That's how I got mine. So I'm going to say first off that I like these. I'm going to review them for you, show you the two colors that I got and then I'm going to show you the tutorial in which I use one of these colors um, so that you can kind of see it in action. I tend, I've been playing around with these for a couple of weeks and I like them as a base. Um, a lot of people say that you can use these all on their own but I find them to be a bit uneven in pigmentation. The pigmentation of these is actually really really good and when you stick your finger in it and swatch it on the back of your hand you're like wow that's opaque and pigmented. I find these to be once you blend them out onto your lid a little uneven in their um, in their pigmentation. It's kind of deeper in some areas and it's very patchy the application. Um, you kind of have to work a little bit at it to get it to be just like a nice color but once you actually do put a powder shadow over these that patchiness goes away and it actually actually serve as really nice bases so that's what I like them for. Um, these don't crease on me. If you do have oilier lids I feel like they would crease on you. They say they last 24 hours, but I still like to wear a base under them because I'm not going to, I need something, I need a base for my crease and I wouldn't put these in my crease because, um, which is another thing, the texture of these, I find them to be a little thick and sticky. Um, people compare them to paint pots. For me, paint pots are so light and like just completely amazing. Like these, for, in my opinion, don't compare to the paint pots. The paint pots are really light texture in texture to me they're not sticky at all they glide on seamlessly they're not patchy these can be a little sticky and which is probably the reason why they kind of apply unevenly I'm applying them with my finger um, I do find if you apply these with a synthetic brush they do apply evenly and not patchy but you lose some of that pigmentation so I, I'd rather just apply them with my fingers um, as that being said, they work really great as color bases. Um, this is the one shade that I, well I got two shades, this is the first shade that I purchased and it was Tough as Taupe. What a gorgeous shade. It is a matte. You don't see a lot of matte cream shadows out there so this is actually something I was really looking forward to trying and I don't have anything like it in the cream shadow department. It's a matte taupey gray. Here, when I swatch it on my finger, you can see how incredibly pigmented that is. And I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you. You can see how pigmented that is. A gorgeous, gorgeous color. So beautiful. This is what I'm wearing on my lid today under a shadow, and I'll show you that in the tutorial. But as you can see, you're probably not going to be able to see that on camera. It blends out, and the texture of the skin on the back of my hand is different than that of my eyelid and it blends out nicely on the back of your hand but um, as soon as you blend it onto like the thinner um, skin that is your eyelid it's a little uneven. It blends beautifully on the back of your hand but not so much on the eyelid so if, if the texture of my eyelids was the same kind of skin as the back of my hand then these would be great um, greater but alas <laughs> This is the second shade I got. Again, another beautiful neutral, and it is Bad to the Bronze. This is what it looks like. Really gorgeous, taupey, cool-toned bronze, which I like, because usually when you see bronzes, 
they're very warm toned and I do love myself a cool toned bronze. This is the swatch. Again, look how beautiful and pigmented that is. Um, this texture is a little less sticky and thick than the matte tough as taupe because this is like more of a shimmer. But again, it still is a bit sticky and on my lids it is a little uneven. Um, look at that. It kind of blends out to more of a taupey bronze. This is also a really great base for a lighter bronze. I find that I like to wear this as a base for a lighter bronze shadow. Um, Top as taupe is actually a really great base for taupey eyeshadows that are kind of lacking in their pigmentation. Case in point, I used this today with my Maybelline Natural Smoke Squad. The packaging on this has changed. This is an old one, but they still do sell these at the drugstore. The packaging is just a bit different. I love every single shade in this quad. It's great from the drugstore. I have like a million videos of the, on this. Had it for years. Reviews. Love this quad. Except that satin taupe dupe here, this kind of taupey silvery shade, for me has always been a bit powdery and sheer and definitely not, it's not max satin taupe. Just put it that way. When you put this over the tough, toughest taupe base, it completely transforms it and makes it the taupe that I always wanted it to be. So that being said, this really transforms your taupey eyeshadows that are kind of lacking into something amazing. So now that's like my, and I wear this all the time, so now I definitely have a way to wear this taupey shade and make, and you know, it just makes it look better. And any of your taupey shades is going to look better over this, as well as the bronze. Any of your bronze shades are going to look really great over this as well. They're just phenomenal bases. So now that you know what I think of the product, I'm going to get into the tutorial where I show you the toughest taupe shade that I'm using. And I just show you the rest of the tutorial, just me putting on um, a look with this Maybelline Natural Smokes Quad, which is always fun because a lot of people have this, and it's so great. So, um... Well, I'm going to get into the tutorial and then I'll be back at the end with the rest of the makeup that I'm wearing. Prime my lid with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance from Lash Line to Brow Bone. I'm going to take my new Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow in Tough as Taupe, which is this really pretty taupey gray cream shadow, and I'm going to apply that with my finger all over the lid. I'm going to take my Maybelline Natural Smoke Squad and I'm going to take this taupe shade right here with the sponge tip applicator that comes in the set and I'm going to apply this silvery taupe eyeshadow to the lid right over that Maybelline Tough as Taupe cream shadow. going to take my MAC eyeshadow in Floof and I'm just going to apply that to the tear duct to brighten up that inner corner. I'm going to take that pretty bronze crease shade in my Maybelline um, Natural Smoke Squad and I'm going to apply that to the crease. MAC pencil brush and I'm going to go back into that taupe shade and I'm going to apply it to the middle part of the lower lash line and then I'm going to go into that bronze color and apply it to the outer part of my lower lash line. I'm going to go into that matte highlight shade in the natural smoke squad and I'm going to apply it to my brow bone. So this is the finished look. Um, just for time's sake, since I had a review in the beginning of this, I didn't show you my liner or mascara. I did um, use my Revlon Color Slay Black Pencil Liner on the waterline. Then on my upper lash line, I just used my Prestige Eyeliner in uh, brown. Just a creamy pencil liner, and I used that on the upper lash line and winged it out a tiny bit. And I smudged this really, really dark matte brown from the Natural Smoke Squad into the liner to kind of smoke out the liner and make it a little softer, uh, which is a look that I've been liking lately. Then on 
my I curled my lashes and just used a couple coats of my Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. I didn't use any false lashes today because I want kind of went bolder on the lips, so I didn't want too much going on. Um, on my lips, I used my Mac Half Red lip pencil which is just a burgundy lip pencil. And then for the lipstick, I used my MAC Matte Lipstick in Deep Love, which is a really, really deep burgundy-ish brown, pretty kind of dramatic winter color for the night. And on my cheeks, I used my NARS Dan Mari palette. I used the blush in Sin, which is this really pretty kind of um, plummy taupe color, which I thought went well with the look. And yeah, that's it for the tutorial and review. If you guys have any more questions about this product, just post your question down below in the comments and I will get back to you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this and everybody have a really great day. Bye.